Your beat sounds fire, you got everything on point. Sound selection, melodies, drum patterns, mixing. However, there's still something that sounds different from other producers. Whatever you do, you just can't get them to sound loud and clear. Well, don't worry, you're in luck, because today I'll show you how to master your beats in three ways in FL Studio. Level 1. Using the Soft Clipper. First, select the Master Track and go to the Effects Rack. Then in here, find the Fruity Soft Clipper. Now, let me explain to you how this works. A Soft Clipper will add a gentle knee compression to the Master Signal. The amount of compression will be decided with a threshold knob. Everything above the threshold that you set will be compressed. This will then avoid clipping and your master will sound more warmer and saturated. The amount will vary for every track, but usually this one works for my beats. Then with the gain knob, we're gonna make the compressed signal sound louder. This is exactly why your mix will sound more clear now. Now, there is a little trick you can do to get more control. Instead of one soft clipper, add two soft clippers to your master track. Then of course, open them up. On the first one, pull the threshold all the way up so that there's no compression on your master. Then with the gain knob, you can control the loudness of your mix before you go to the second one. Now use this soft clipper to master your track like you learned before. And now it's time for level two. In this master chain, we're gonna use a compressor, soft clipper, and a limiter in this exact order. Open up the effects, and first we're gonna make a light and subtle compression to glue everything together. Again, this is different for every genre, but this will work perfectly fine for trap beats. Once that's done, we can close the compressor and focus on the limiter and soft clipper. These are gonna work together, by the way. On the limiter, turn the ceiling all the way up because we don't need to limit anything yet. Turn down the saturation around minus two or three decibels to leave a little headroom. Next, in the soft clipper, decrease the threshold and increase the post gain until you see the sound waves hitting the little red bar we created with the saturation knob. And there you go. Also, definitely download my free Mix Elite infograph with years of music experience all on one page. With the frequency cheat sheet, you can create better mixes, you get powerful chord progressions and amazing scales you can try in your music. You know what? I'll leave a link below for you guys to download. Next, let's get to the final level, using Maximus. This one is extremely simple. So, once Maximus is open, make sure the master is selected. Then go to the saturation threshold knob and move it to the left so that this red overlay will appear on your master's waveform. Next, we're gonna a ceiling that your audio can surpass. To do that, turn down the ceiling knob just a little bit. Next, turn up the post gain knob to make the master louder without distorting it. Play around until you find the sweet spot. There you go. Now it's important to mention it without a balanced mix, there's no point in mastering it. So you'll learn everything about that in the video right here on my left. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, Stay creative.